Hey guys, we're back with some more Tormented Souls. It's been a while. I missed this game and its spooks. Um, in the you know previous video, we uh, left off with a lot of crazy shit, right? You know, a lot of crazy things, right? Um, so I'm I'm happy to get back into this game. I will warn everyone that um, I did have to recapture and redo some parts of the game due to technical issues. So um, up to a specific point, I think it's the sewing room. Yeah, the sewing room. Um, it's not a blind playthrough. Until I hit the sewing room, that's where I left off. So I hope you guys understand, um, you know, with the technical issues that I faced, it, like the parts that I captured originally was literally unwatchable. So again, I hope you guys understand and yeah, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. That's so weird, dude. <clears throat> and it is officially six o'clock. Hey, buddy. Our character is so dumb. Like, really dumb. <sighs> Alright, to the spoopy area. Let's go, baby. Anything back here? No? Alright. Um, alright. Climb the ladder. Looks like we got some more morphine. That's perfect. <gasps> oh shit! Okay. Alright. So we do got ourselves another. Oh shit. Okay, do that, and then we're gonna go back to using this. Keep smacking them. There we go. Yeah, that's the tech right there. That That's the strategy f uh, for a lot of the enemies. Just shoot them down until they get knocked down and then finish them off with the crowbar so you don't have to waste any more ammo. That is the play, baby. <clears throat> Alright. So, let's see here. Wait, so it looks like it won't budge. I need to force it somehow. It's too rested to move. Okay, so we probably need something to like dissolve to di uh, dissolve the rust on the cogs right here. That's probably what we need to do. Looks like we got more ammo right here. Perfecto. Anything right here? Doesn't look like it. Can we open this? I can't open it. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> And there's the little baby doll. Pretty sure it has... Actually, I think that's where we need to put the heart. I'm pretty sure. Surgical tools, they don't appear to be in good condition, though. Alright. Wait. I feel like I'm missing something, right? I'm missing the other part of the heart. It doesn't fit. Okay. Okay. So we need something. There's a hole in its chest cavity. Clearly. Alright. So I'm trying to remember. Where where do we need to go? Into here. Okay, okay, okay. Just make a B line. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Open sesame, there we go. Alright, alright. If I okay, if I remember. If I remember correct, yeah, there's uh, one spitter, and then I think there's another one, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. We might have to fight these guys, but I'm going to try not to, if possible. Oh, shit. Here we go. Go back over to the crowbar. Just smack him, silly. Here we go. And he's down for the count. 
We are in caution, unfortunately, but we should be okay nonetheless. Okay, yeah, that's right. X, uh, okay, so you aim and then press X to dodge. It's been, again, it's been a little while, so I apologize. <clears throat> uh, surgical tools, they don't appear, to okay, yep, 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 yep. Looks like there's a medical box right here. Oh, and that's uh, the heart that we need. There we go, perfect. Now, I guess we could go ahead and, um... I want to uh, go ahead and finish exploring this room while we're at it. Um, can we, like... Okay, we can't break that open. I was trying to see... Like, maybe... Can we combine these? Yes, we can. Perfect. So... Put the nail gun again, and uh, let's kind of see if we can... Um... Oh, we got ourselves some morphine. That's perfect. Um... Is there anything else in here we gotta worry worry about? It doesn't look like it. There's a lot of intestines down there. Looks like we got ourselves a another one of William's journals here. Uh, can I read it? Yeah, you can. September 17th, 1941. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At Mother's tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on the cold, sculpted marble. Figure, figure, figure of his wife, he began praying. I felt guilty following him. Seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. I was about to leave when Father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb, tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into, the, into darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and fall him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel, covered in pipes and sewage. I saw Father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group, and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall. It smashed against the, f it smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I had come. Their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. That's pretty creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so is there anything else I should be lo Oh! I don't remember opening up that... Oh my god, that actually startled me at the creaking. More nail guns, I suppose. Let's go. Alright, x-ray images. Help, it says. Okay. Well, let's uh, get going and uh, insert that heart, I guess. We need to juke these motherfuckers again. That is so cheap, man. Every time. Honestly... It does look like you get iframes. Did I just take damage? There you go. Honestly, we might as well kill these guys so we can get them out of the way. Oh, that hit me. Oh, come on, dude. Dodge. we go, and then we'll finish him off with the crowbar again. We are at critical, so we might have to waste a, a, uh, a syringe, unfortunately. There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. Okay, so 
Might as well heal ourselves right quick. Yeah, you can only... Can I, like... Cannot combine. Okay, so... At some point, there has to be, like, better healing supplies, I'd imagine. Right? But, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure that out later, I guess. Alright. Well... We can now go ahead and make our way back into that other realm. Hopefully nothing creepy happens, because apparently there is some, there is a little bit of RNG with like different spawns and monsters. So that's a little discomforting. Alright, so all we should have to do now is move this into the chest cavity. Ugh. Ugh. It seemed almost alive for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make me feel comfy. Alright, let's go back into the uh, maternity ward. <clears throat> I'm hoping we can... Uh... Shit, I don't want to waste a save though. You know what I mean? Alright. This is so creepy. Alright, so now we should be able to... Oh yeah, we gotta turn this on and then bop. And that should release the, the hand. Yep, there we go. Nice. Now, we should be able to combine these two for that gate. Like so. Nice. Perfect! Now we can get... Yeah, now we can get inside the gate. have what I need. Indeed we do. Let's go, baby! I can't remember if I ever went back to check. Yeah, she's just gone. Okay, I, okay, it's coming back to me now. She's gone. Yeah, she is. That's really uncomfy. That's very uncomfy. Alright, well, with that being said, we should be able to make our way. I killed all the guys in here. Don't tell me I wasted my fucking ammo. We didn't. Okay, perfect. Honestly, you probably did. We probably could have easily just left them there and just moved around past them. Alright, now we can go through here. <clears throat> Perfecto. All right. And here we are, baby. Alrighty. I remember specifically last time this that little scene right there, that little cutscene transition, whatever you want to call it, completely was teared up, like the during the live stream. I don't know why, but it was. And it made me really sad. Alright, so I can't remember. Did I ever test and see if I could break these uh, these vases? No, you can't, okay. I had a check. Alright, so, if I remember correctly, I think the m main main objective was to get to the library, if I remember correctly, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. Huh. Okay. So, we came from there. Here's the, I'm assuming this is the main hall, yeah, because I'm pretty sure that is the main entrance to this uh, mansion so all right is there anything we can interact with here oh we can go in here though okay okay we got ourselves a map so that's perfect we're inside the chapel okay so there's a studio right there that's where we can actually save um public restroom right there. I remember specifically there was a 
I think that it was actually the public restroom, thinking about it now, I think, where it was completely dark and I could not get in there. So, I mean, I could, but I couldn't fight back because it was so dark. So, um, I think, alright, ooh, okay, so let's go ahead and head back right quick, and then let's make our way, so we got a top floor right here. And then there's this bottom floor right here. I don't know where that leads, but we'll, we'll bear with me, because, again, it's been a little while. Alright, um, so it looks like that's the receptionist desk right there. Yeah. <clears throat> An old piano. A piano? Sadly, I don't know how to play. I'm sure you can learn. Um, and yeah, we need like a, uh, some kind of cross, some kind of crest that we need for this right here to open it up. Now what's in here? Oh yeah, okay, so we need, we have a little puzzle we gotta do. The handle won't budge, there are symbols above the keyhole. Yeah, but... The thing that's weird is we can't do anything here, but if you look up this, it looks like a little Tetris thing. A little Tetris puzzle right here. Whatever that means. But yeah. Huh. Okay. Well. Alright. Come on. Make your way over here. There we go. And then we'll finish him off with the crowbar, like we normally do. Ah. Ah, yeah, baby. We got ourselves another monster to the side there. It's going to reload right quick. Pop him a couple there. Ah, oh, shit! There we go. Finish him off with the crowbar again. This is very unfortunate. I'm taking too much damage. Finish him off with one more hit. Like so. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Man, this is very unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. We're wasting too much ammo and too much uh, heals, I feel like. Alright. It's okay, though. Uh, wait. Let's see. A smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell off the cross. Huh. Okay. That is... Bad mojo. Alright, so we got that over there. I think this is the safe room? Yeah, safe room. Okay, perfect. Okay. We should be okay in here. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, bring out the lighter. <clears throat> By the way, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my cat in the background. She's snoring. <laughs> She's she a loud snorer. Oh, we got some shotgun shells. We have yet to find a shotgun. Okay. And here... Okay, and there's a little uh, safe spot right here. Okay. So we got ourselves... What? We have two re uh, recording tapes. Um, you shouldn't have come here. That's obviously, like, directed towards us. An x-ray image showing a heart. The figure seems familiar. Familiar? Is that supposed to be us? Go, and... There we go. Nice. Like like I said, <laughs> I got to a certain point. Um, the sewing room is where we left off in the, uh, the first stream. So once we get to that point and... And once we get to that point and, and further on, it's pretty much blind playthrough again. So. So, we are inside the studio. And it looks like this will take us out into the service area. Alright. There's the kitchen right there. There's a closet right there. And a warehouse right there. I, if I remember correctly, I think there was actually a monster inside the kitchen or the warehouse area, but I could be wrong. Again, it's been a little while. 
Oh, this is dark. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember like uh, being. Ugh. I remember being a big nerd at the fact that you can interact and light these uh, these candles up. All right, let's see here. We got ourselves a journal. Maria Wahlberger's diary, huh? Okay. Let's see here. Um, September 15th, 1970. I was sitting on a hill under a big leafy tree. How long was it there? I could smell the grass and hear the sound of leaves dancing in the wind just over my head. Small, shapeless figures were moving side to side over my white dress. I could hear a weak voice traveling with the wind. I did not understand what it was saying. I did not pay much attention to it. A snake crawled up to me, hidden in the grass. It gave me no time to stand up, wrapping around my feet and climbing up my leg. I tried to scream, but the snake had already sunken its fangs into my flesh. I felt the poison burning its way through me. I winced in pain and let the snake fall away, lost in the grass. The pain got stronger and stronger, and the voices that were only whispers in the wind became clear. Their sounds turned into syllable, uh, syllables. The syllables into words. The pain worsened, and the sun, which was bright and warm before, became cold. Surrounded by a stainless metal halo, the words turned into people who surrounded me. One was holding my hand. Push, Maria. Push. Huh. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it just says the same thing. Okay. So we got a weirdo down there. Honestly, we might as well kill him while we're at it. Um, so let's go ahead and get this out. Oh, it's so dark, though. It's so dark. Huh. Okay, can I light that area up? Or the light right here, though? And one right here. Okay, 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 okay. Sir, relax. Can you come up? Can he come upstairs? He can. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Let's uh let's get our nail gun out. <sighs> Alright, let him come. Here we go. Shoot him up again. And then we should be able to finish him off with the crowbar. Ah! Uh. Smack ya! Shilly! Yes, sir! You're not done yet! There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, reload our, our nail gun. Um, yeah, this is that restroom I was talking about, guys. I don't know if this is a good idea, man. Okay, 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 okay. There's a little journal right here, a young child's diary. Alright, let's read it right quick. September 15th, 1980. Late one night, Grandfather Noah came into our room. He was accompanied by two strangers wearing leather suits that covered them entirely. They used their smelly leather hands to cover our faces, preventing us from crying out. We were left almost unable to breathe. That's messed up. Oh, there's eight pages reach. Sheesh! They took us to somewhere underground and put us on strange cross-shaped metal beds. Our hands and feet were tied with metallic bands. A group of the suited figures surrounded us, all of them covered by the same material and holding giant hammers. So, those guys were wearing those radioactive suits, right? In the center of the room was gran uh, Grandfather, watching everything. Although he was not wearing a suit, his mere stare terrified me. He, he came close and laughed. My dear granddaughters, he said, it is time for you to finally fulfill your destiny. Mama, I mean, Mama, Emma couldn't stop crying. She begged him to let us go, but he moved over to the door and ordered the suited men to get us ready for the ritual. The ritual, okay. Everyone left the room except for one suited man. He walked crooked and slower than the rest. He smelled worse, too. The smell of sewage. Ew. He came to us with a small tray of tiny metal vessels. They were filled with liquids and ar aromatic oils. He began unbuttoning my blouse when Mother suddenly entered the room and hit 
hit him with a metal bar. He fell to the floor. Go, Mom! Yeah! Alright. By the way, that's very disturbing. Just saying. She rushed over to free us, but the suited man got up quickly and raised a dagger behind Mother's back. I wanted to scream out to her, but I could barely move. Right at that moment, a shot put him down. Another man, also wearing a suit, had shot him from the entrance of the room. Huh? Okay, I wonder who that could be. He came toward us with his hands raised and took off the part of the suit covering his head. It was our other grandfather. Other grandfather? Bertram? Huh? Okay. He wordily asked Mother what she was doing down here without a suit. She said that she had come to save us. Grandfather told her to take us to the surface and to get to the town port, where someone would be waiting for us w with a small fishing boat. Okay. Oh shit! I forgot! Oh, that actually scared me. I forgot that there's a monster. I got so immersed in the into the journal that I... Oh man, dude. This ain't good. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! No! Oh. Okay, okay. We need to kill this guy. There might be other items in here. It's too dark. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Alright, get the crowbar. Finish this mother trucker! Yeah, I'm get down! Oh, I took too much damage there, man. I only have one more fucking heal left. Dang it! Let's equip this and reload. Uh, I should've just ran out. Hopefully I didn't waste my shit, man, because I just want to make sure there's nothing else in here. I should- I could've just easily checked with the- the map, right? It's- it's still red. So there has to be something else in here. Right? Let's see. Maybe in the rest, maybe in the stalls? I'm not seeing anything else. Maybe in these? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, well, I think I might have wasted a healing syringe, dude. That's sad, honestly. What's this? Uh, a pipe with an attached handle. It smells like sulfur. Okay. Cool, I guess. Alrighty. Um, and if I remember correctly, door unlocked. Yeah, this should lead to the main hall. Yeah. Yeah, here we are. Main hall. Perfect. Cool. <clears throat> Hey, was that a... No, it's not, okay. Uh, oh, look at this! There's... Okay. A taut rope is holding down the latch. I can't untie it. Yeah, you're probably gonna need something to cut it apart. Is what you're gonna probably need to do. So let's go ahead and, uh... Get away from that. Alright, so... We got multiple ways we can go here, right? So, I don't think there was anything else over here. No, alright, so we just got this direction to check out, I suppose. Let's see. Um, okay, can we light this up? It doesn't let us light it up. Okay, that's, that's great. What's in here? Uh, wait. Uh, so there's the studio. We, we went this way. This is supposed to be the shower room, I think. It's locked from the other side. Okay. Then we got one more location, the laundry room, it looks like. Can we get inside there, I wonder? <gasps> Ooh. Ugh. I hate, I hate suits of armor. I hate mannequins. I hate statues, dude. Oh, that's right, these guys. I wonder if I could just shoot them. Right? I wonder if I could just shoot them. And uh, we'll be good. Let me try that. Let me see. 
Um, how many shots do we have left? We have 22 shots left. Okay. Um, can I just use my... Oh, no, I can't, dude. Wait, that's right. I can't even kill him. Because... I can't kill him because the light. Dang it. Okay. Well... Shit. Um... Um, I remember this being a shortcut from the other side once we get over there. Let's go over here next, I guess. Uh, okay. I don't hear anything. I can't remember if there's any monsters in here. You won't leave this place, huh? Okay. Really no. Uh, wait, can I open this? Yeah, I can. Cool. Um, it's freezing cold. Yeah, it is. Okay. Can I do anything else? Doesn't look like it. Do I have anything else to use for this? Wait. Oh, this is supposed to be a shotgun part? I just realized that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Dang, I didn't even realize. All right, you won't leave this place. Okay. Charred remains. Are these human bones? What the hell is going on here? I'm not gonna lie. I don't even remember even interacting with that there. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so. Um, alright, well, let's go in here. I remember there- I think this is the- yeah. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where the other monster was. One of the bigger ones. Is he- oh! Where, where, where? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we should be able to finish him off with the uh, crowbar. One, two, and three, and four! Oh, he almost got hit off! Yeah, boy! Yeah! Get wrecked, you nerd! We unfortunately did have to use a little bit more ammo than we unfor- Oh, man. It's so unfortunate, man. How much ammo do we have left? We have 15 shots left. That... This ain't looking good, boys. Oh! Never mind, here we go, we got some more. Perfect. Alright, let's bring- Let's bring back out the, uh, lighter here. Alright. So, we are currently inside the warehouse. Let's see if we can find anything going on in here. Um, uh, let's see. Oh! A bottle of uh, nitric acid that can corrode metal over time. <sighs> so, I wonder if we could pour this. You know, okay, so you know inside the other world where those, um, what you call it, the, uh, there was those rusted cogwheels. I wonder if we can, um, apply this on there and it'll eat away at the, uh, um, all that rust. I wonder if we could use it for that. I need to remember to try uh, test that out. Okay. So, let's see what we have going on here. We got ourselves a desktop right there. Um, is there anything else in here we can play around with? Not seeing anything. I'll just leave back out. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and uh, mess with this. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, door security system. Insert disk to write new new keyword. An old PC monitor. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we need a new floppy disk. We need an empty flop a floppy disk for that. Okay, okay. Um, that that seems to be all we could do here. So let's go ahead and uh, make our way out here. Trying to see if I can hear anything. An iron door knocker shaped like the like a hand holding a ball. Oh, 
Okay. Did that go inside my re- No, it went inside I uh, key items. Okay. I wonder what- why I'm still holding that padlock, though. Oh, here we go. Here's the shortcut. There we go. Nice. And then... We should be able to just... Go in here. Yeah, this is that storage room. Okay. Let's open up these lockers. Yeah, we got some more nails here. I can't open up that one, it looks like. <clears throat> Doesn't look that like there's anything else in here. What's this? A battery can fit. So we need a battery to juice up, apparently. So... Okay. So we can't do anything else there. That's fine. Um... I think that's all we about we could do. Shower room. Yeah, that's everything. So, alright. We have choices we could do here. We can go back in, um... You can go back to the maternity ward, right? And go inside that other realm, that, like, mirror. And we can go to that door and see if we, if we can apply this, right? Right? And, uh, that should eat away at the rust. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next. And then, if that doesn't work, we'll just, uh, make our, uh, meander our way over to the top floor. Yeah. The top floor, or we can check out the bottom floor right here. I'm pretty sure we have to go to the top floor. I'm pretty sure that just leads to a dead end, and there's, like, some keys or something we need for that. I can't remember exactly, though, but we will figure it out. Now, hopefully we don't encounter that creepy lady that is apparently gotten up off her, her, uh, her stretcher. Alright, so we want to make our way here. I think they're... I'm hoping my theory is correct in that it, this nitric acid will eat away at that rust. If not, then I'm just big dumb. It is what it is. <clears throat> Alright. Go up the ladder. And then... Where is it? I think it's this door right here. We should be able to use this. Like, nothing happens. Dang it, man. The reason why I thought that could work... One, it literally says that this can eat away at metal, right? Technically, rust is just old, corroded metal. Right? So, and as you can see, it just says it's too rusted to move. I need to force it somehow. I don't know how to do that, man. It does look... It does give me the option to combine, so maybe I need to combine it with something. I don't know. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's uh, make our way to the second floor in the main hall.